Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has found himself targeted, uh, gang stalked, uh, uh, attacked uh, covertly and overtly, uh, drugged. I was given a disease that people are calling Morgellons. I was tested and experimented on and uh, with nanotechnology and biotechnology and drugs and uh, electromagnetic weapons and other new space age weaponized technologies. Uh, I have basically had a very, very rough, difficult, unbelievably difficult time of this and with this and it's been going on uh, in earnest for many years and in fact has started when I was born pretty much uh, and I addressed some of that in some of my other videos today I'd like to say hello it's been a while since I've said much I've been pretty quiet and that's probably because mind control and this technology that that uses voice to skull technology microwave hearing allowing you to hear projected broadcasts of sounds and voices inside your head as though it were coming from outside around you and other technologies that allow the manipulation of your emotions and perceptions and uh, they're quite effective technologies and uh, so I've been battling the, the, the twisting of my will and I've been battling uh, deep spiritual uh, searching and torment and attacks and I've been coping with physiological, physical health effects, profound health effects. Uh, I am attempting to stop smoking. I haven't had nicotine co t containing uh, tobacco products in, I think this is going on three weeks now or something. I don't know. <sighs> um, anyway, among other things. So, as you probably know, if you've watched any of my videos, and if you don't, I, I live on a boat here in the ocean. With some other boats. And uh, right now, one of the things that I'm doing is we just went through the winter, so the cold, cold weather. Now, in my boat, I have this big engine which is under here. And under here, uh, if you can see them, there's two. There's one on one side, and there's one on the other side. These things are gas tanks. And um, so I have over here the line coming from the gas tank going to this thing here. And usually it goes to a filter. And then the filter goes to the fuel pump and into the engine and whatnot. So I cut the line where the filter is because I saw there was a lot of water coming in there because I wasn't able to fill in the winter when you have a boat you're supposed to fill the, the gas tank all the way up so that when the cold comes the, the condensation of the cold air and the metal tank and the water will condense out of the air into the gas so you're supposed to fill it all the way up but for, because of financial <laughs> constraints I couldn't fill my 100 gallon tank so anyway, um, so what I did was now that it's almost spring, so I went on eBay and I bought this cheap little six dollar uh, fuel pump, a little magneto <laughs> pump, and I put a little switchy switch on it and I wired it to my 12 volt thingy over here, which actually gets wired down to these batteries on there and piped it from the connection from the fuel line from one tank on this side through the pump and into this barrel here and so far it's not looking great this, this fuel in fact I think what I might do is 
dump out that little bit and start over again. Um, let me dump it into another container here. So, one thing I noticed about oh, gasoline is for some reason when it mixes with water, it uh, turns white. So anyway, we're gonna turn on this pump. There it goes. You can hear it, I guess. And you can see it. Oops, I'm facing the wrong way. No. This way. You can see it pumping. Uh, pumping the gasoline. Let's see if we can do it this way. Yes, there we are. Pumping the gasoline. Now, this is probably really exciting filmmaking thing. Anyway, so. That's what I'm doing. I'm pumping the gasoline out of the big tank and into this container so that once I pump it out, I can look at it and let it settle. Because the last time I did this to a different gas tank uh, and I poured it out, there was, you know, like three inches of water on the bottom. So, um, I'm gonna pump out as much as I can into this and if if this I have another 30 gallon tank inside that I use for for seawater to flush the toilet in the winter which I don't really need to do anymore because the winter's pretty much over so I could probably use that to store this fuel while I um, empty the tank and see if I can get the water out if I can't, then I don't know. <laughs> I'll just put it back in. But I have to buy a new uh, water, fuel water separator. And um, it's, I'm not gonna go and get it and show you, but it's basically a, a can that the gas goes into and spins around and separates the water and the gas comes out. I have to get a new one of those because mine is kaput. And uh, it's about, 60 bucks for the one for inboard motor it has to have a little metal bowl on the bottom that you can unscrew the little cock and drain out the water and put back on an ex interchangeable or changeable can filter on the top it's about 60 bucks for oh because i need the the top piece to it mounts to screw the whole business on because like i said mine is kaput and um uh, Anyway, so we're doing okay here. We're draining this gasoline. This pump is a uh, very low pressure. I mean, at six dollars eBay, it's uh, three pounds, three pounds per square foot or something. Very low pressure. Um, I forget how many liters per hour or something. It's very low, like thirty <laughs> liters per hour or something. Where, as I believe, my engine can take. Uh, I can't remember, but it's. Uh, 15 20 gallons an hour I think my engine can consume if it works and everything anyway so that's that I'm playing with gasoline uh, what else well let me think oh, uh, we're still uh, we're still here in the boats staying with the boats and um, so far we haven't had too much problems the things are kind of changing and fences being put up and it may not be so easy to get to the other sailboats anymore and a uh, guy yesterday had a problem he was trying to go and, and the security saw him and they called the police and the helicopters and the five police boats or six police boats and three uh you know not just cars but those big support units and with the boats and it, it's, you know serious response and he's sitting there in that little blue boat right there hiding Their boat is parked right in there, next to them. They didn't throw any rocks at his boat. They didn't say, hey, you, come out of there. They didn't say, uh, you know, because they, I think they knew that he was in there. They just figured, well, all right, we're here. And we scared the crap out of whoever it is, and they won't do that again. 
I don't know, maybe they, you know, I don't know. And, but you know, as long as, as long as I can come and go, as long as I can keep warm, uh, we've managed to keep warm. Uh, God, thank you. And we were able to get propane delivered, 20 pound tanks of propane. Uh, hook them up to our a grill inside inside of a wood stove so that it's vented through that chimney over there and um, and it, the, the average I think came out to about ten dollars a night is what we were able to keep the boat around 70 75 degrees even down to, to 20 15 20 degrees you know keep the boat around 70 75 cost us about 10 12 dollars a night which you know it's money and it's a lot of money but we survived and i kind of kicked myself i'm like well i could have i could have got all this wood and done all this work because the lord provided for me there was all this wood over there i could have got a chainsaw and started chopping it up and burning it but you know it's just so much work sometimes and i'm so sick sometimes and and the, the soot and the smoke and the, I'm really grateful we were able to afford to do it with propane uh, and if next year we're still living on the boat I'm not sure what we're gonna do I've been looking at these diesel diesel parking heaters on eBay you can get them for like under two hundred dollars and they seem to run I don't know theoretically we were looking at like a half a gallon of diesel a night or something maybe a gallon but the problem with that is that it requires more energy than I had available um, my friend has lent me I don't know if you can see it over there but, uh, a big giant I have 200 watt ones and that one is a 240 watt panel there's another 240 watt panel right here that needs some diodes replaced and my friend of mine the guy who owns this spot and this boat who lent let us stay here for the winter has lent them to me because he needed space and if i can fix one of them for him he's gonna let me borrow them so that's the other thing i need to get now a 40 amp solar charge controller uh so i can run those two things and charge my batteries i'm probably gonna have to get more batteries uh but you know money is always the issue again so this guy over here I don't know if you can see it here but there's a, a wind I don't know there's a wind turbine there I don't know if you can see it going around but I've been watching his wind turbine you can get those on eBay for like $95 $100 three or four hundred watt wind turbine and a crappy charge controller and it spins pretty much most of the day and night when there's no sunlight uh, and I think between the two having wind and having um, solar would probably give us a lot more energy so that we can do more stuff like run uh, run televisions and this is a fellow a fellow boat living guy who lives on a boat down there I think he, he actually rents uh, rents a boat from someone to live on there's a guy who rents a few boats to people to help him out and help him pay child support i think and uh, so anyway i guess that's enough blathering let's let's look at the uh, let's look at the you know it's a day at a day at a time for me man a day at a time uh, god has been very good to me even though he has allowed me to go through these terrible, horrible things. He has, he has, you know, opened my eyes. Oh, here, look. This thing I made is all fucked. There we go. And I put that. I put little drains in the side so that the water would drain out. Um, but I'm learning, you know. I'm seeking the Lord and 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 finding. You know, seeing the evidence of God's work in changing the desires of my heart over time. And, and I watch myself as I become new or different, uh, you know. And 
and learning to to listen to the to the spirit the holy spirit the little voice that always tells me the truth that always warns me about danger that tells me what i need to know about people and and, and answers my questions about well not always but yes i, I don't i don't always see or understand but it tells me the future when things are about to happen bad things and but I just haven't quite, <laughs> you know, I'm learning to listen, I'm learning to hear, and I'm looking at this castle, and going, hmm, what is that? As you can see, look, 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 here we go. It's starting to separate out. There's one level on the bottom and one on the top. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I know that the, putting it through this pump is, well, putting it through this pump is making it really, really Full of air, aided in white, whereas it's coming through here fairly clear. You know, um, a lot of cavitation, a very strange kind of. It goes. It's some kind of magnetic impeller, uh, compeller. It's got a little a flap or something that moves. It's like the, the simplest of. Pumps, and I think it has to be that way so that it doesn't make any internal sparks that would cause disaster for those of us pumping fuel. Now this is a five gallon container. You see it's starting to separate here on the bottom. Two layers. Now I, I can't quite tell if that's just the gas without the bubbles and this is the gas with the bubbles or you know, there's the water. I don't know if it makes three layers. Anyway, we'll give it time. We'll see how much we can pump out of here. Um, this thing has a 